start talking key management now and I'm delighted to be joined by Tim Hill of KeyZap. And Tim, I've come across your product today and I'm very excited about it. Tell us a little bit about what it does because it really does help with the management of keys. Yeah, absolutely. So we came up with KeyZap really based on that perennial problem that most people will recognise when they have a lot of keys, which is you go to the key cabinet and you try to pick up a key and it's not where you expect it to be. And then what people often find themselves doing is leafing back through books. Very rarely people losing keys, it's more just misplaced them and trying to find out who had it last, where could it be, and, and that obviously burns a lot of time at exactly the moment normally you really want that key for something. Um, so what we did was we came up with a, uh, an electronic process that makes it really, really simple to both log keys in and out of the office to help it be really consistent when you're trying to uh, take a key out so everybody can work in the same way. And then you're collecting all of that data so that then at the touch of a button you can see where all your keys are, who has them when they're due back. Mm -hmm. All of that information is there for you at your fingertips. Fantastic. And you've got um, kind of fobs on the keys that have a barcode and you provide a scanner yep. and obviously the software that goes with it and you use it literally just swiping in and out data for the keys, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have a barcode and a chip in our fobs as well, and that chip works like a contactless credit card, um, which most people are familiar with now. So it really is just a case of touching that uh, fob onto the scanner, mm -hmm. and the computer jumps into life and starts signing out the process, um, mm -hmm. starts signing out the key. So, yeah, it really is a case of two taps, one tap for the key, one tap to identify myself, and that's the key signed out. It's done in about two seconds. Now, it's also great from the point of view for, um, for landlords, perhaps with you know, larger portfolios, yeah. um, that they can, it also gives them like an audit trail of where the key uh, has, has gone in its life or yeah. its journey, if you want to say. And that can be, be very useful um, uh, to, as documentary evidence for different things as well, can't it? Absolutely. And of course, with the ever-increasing demands of compliance, yeah. having that really well-documented log of who did what when can be really, really important. Um, some of our clients may use it to check an invoice, for example, from a contractor. Did that contractor really visit that property on that day, for example? Um, or even, worst case scenarios, if, if you have break-ins, you can very quickly say, well, these are where all my keys were and who had them at any, at any given time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very helpful to know, you know that whole history of who's done what with the keys to your properties. Now you originally obviously produced it for lettings agents or you know people that are dealing with a large number of keys but when I saw it um, I thought this is great for landlords with large numbers of properties as well also landlords that have uh, employed staff because you've got an option on the uh, software to actually put people in as well and yep. assign keys to them so really this is adaptable to the landlord market isn't it? Absolutely yes I mean it's really down to how many keys you're managing and as soon as it gets to the point where maybe you can't keep the, keep the location of your keys in your head it becomes time to, to maybe add something else mm. to the process. And so, yeah, as soon as, as soon as you've got lots of keys that you're juggling, it makes sense for landlords and for agents and also for things like holiday lets and accommodation yes, as well. Point. Yeah, good point. And the costs of this aren't prohibitive, are they? How much would it cost a landlord with, say, 20 properties to have 20 keys on the system? So for 20 properties, um, it's going to cost about £25 a month. Mm -hmm. We've just created a, a new sort of low use or a low number of properties um, pricing model. So hopefully it's really not cost prohibitive at all. And the fobs themselves can be as little as 89 pence as well. So it's really not expensive to, to give it a go. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining me on Property Tribes. And if you've got any questions about KeyZap, I'm sure that Tim would be happy to answer them. So drop them below the thread and uh, I'm sure you'd be happy to answer any questions our community may have. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck with it. It's thank a great you. system.